section 9.1, systems of linear equations. So a definition. Um, a system of equations is a set of equations, so it means more than one equation, that involve the same variables. Um, a system of linear equations is a system of equations in which the equations are linear, which makes sense. And then a solution to a system is an assignment of values for the variables which make the equations in the systems true. So all the equations need to be true. Um, and then solving is finding all the solutions. So sometimes there's multiple solutions. Um, so let's show in example one that x equals three and y equals one, we often write it as an ordered pair, three, one, is a solution to the system two x minus y equals five, and x plus 4y equals 7. It's a system because there's more than one equation. So we'll go ahead and plug in 3 for x. So 2 times 3 minus y, so minus 1, equals 5. So x is 3, y is 1. Let's make sure they equal 5. So 6 minus 1, or 5 equals 5. Uh, but we need to check both equations. If it only works for one, it's not a solution. It needs to work for both. So we'll check in the second equation. So x plus 4y becomes 3 plus 4 times 1, and then does it equal 7? So again, 3 is x, 1 is y. So we get 3 plus 4, or we get 7 equals 7. So 3, 1 is a solution. And as I've been writing, um, we usually represent a solution in the form of an ordered pair. So 3, 1 is an ordered pair. We'll usually write x comma y. So we'll solve another one. We'll solve one actually from scratch. We were just checking a solution. So this is how to check. You can do this anytime. Uh, let's start with solving. Um, there's more than one method. So we'll start with a few methods. So let's start with substitution. What we'll do is we'll solve for one of the variables Choose one equation and solve for one variable, so you'll either solve for x or y, um, and then you substitute that into the other equation. So substitute the expression from step one into the other equation to get an equation in one variable and then solve, and then we'll back substitute to find the solution to, of the other variable. So let's just jump in and see what's going on. So in example two, we wanna find all solutions to the system 3x plus 4y equals 14, and 2x plus y equals 1. So I have to solve for x or y. So what I notice is I notice y in the second equation has no coefficient, which makes it easier to solve for, because then you don't have to divide. So let's pretend I solve for x in the first equation. 3x plus 4y equals 14 minus 4y minus 4y, 3x equals 14 minus 4y, and then you divide by 3 and you get really ugly numbers. So this is why I'm saying solving for that second y is easier, right? I don't think any of us want to deal with 14 thirds or 4 thirds. So I am not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to solve. We have 2x plus y equals 1 minus 2x minus 2x, so y is 1 minus 2x. And I think that looks way easier than all that. So that is step one, solve for one of the variables. I solve for y. Step two tells me to substitute into the other equation. So I'm gonna replace y with one minus two x. So we have three x plus four y equals 14. And then we could do this thing called substitute. Substitution, so three x plus four, so instead of y, we can say 1 minus 2x equals 14, and then we can solve this equation. There's only one variable. So 3x plus 4 minus 8x equals 14. So 3x minus 8x gives me minus 5x plus 4 equals 14. Nice linear equation, minus 4 
minus 4 minus 5x equals 10. And we divide and we get x is negative 2. So we found one of the variables. I'll box it just so we remember. And then that final step, step 3, was called a back substitution. What we'll do is we plug x back into the equation for y. So we know y is 1 minus 2x, and now that we know x is negative 2, we can say y is 1 minus 2 times negative 2. Or y is 1 plus 4, or y equals 5. And we found our solution. The solution is negative 2 and 5. And if you wanted to check, you plug into both. But make sure you find both variables.